don't know what these big black fish are here. Right by the edge of the uh, the lake, but man, they're big. I want to say there's some kind of like uh, koi variant, but I don't know. And then there's the uh, some of the duck population. It stays primarily on top of the waters. Look at that. Ah, oh, what a view. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Robert from thrillride.com. How you doing? So I am back up at Lake Arrowhead. It's a beautiful place here in Southern California. I have not been up to in quite a bit and uh, I miss it so. And after going to L Mount Baldy and rediscovering how beautiful that place was and getting up to the peak, I'm like, I need to get back to Lake Arrowhead too. It's, uh, it is just magnificent up here. And I've never done the boat tour. There's a river boat kind of uh, excursion takes about an hour and apparently you get to learn a little history of the region up here but it's so lovely and today in particular again you couldn't design a better day blue skies breeze blowing we're not going to get much above 75 i think ah <sighs> and again this is this is what the doctor ordered so uh yeah let's enjoy some more of nature's beauty There's just another incredible selection of hiking trails all over this area, kind of between uh, Crestline, which is a little further west, and then all the way out to Big Bear Lake, which is like another half hour further out. Um, and uh, Heaps Peak Arboretum, that's one of my favorite hikes up here. It's super easy to do. I don't know if we're gonna do any hiking today. I really kind of wanted to focus on the, uh, the lake itself. And yeah, it's... Uh, it's going to be quite a good day for it. And the little village here, kind of the, the center of Lake Arrowhead proper, it's pretty damn charming. All kinds of little stores and restaurants and free parking. You got to love that. Well, it's been a while since, uh, since I've been up here, but I do recall that in the uh, warmer months, they set up a little amusement park here for the kids. And it's pretty modest. I mean, it's, uh, you know, some kiddie rides and a snack stand maybe but kind of adds to the festive atmosphere along the water's edge yeah this is the kind of place you're like people live their daily lives up here how, how do you do that <laughs> that's a pretty good deal yeah if only i'd love to see some dinosaurs roaming around like airhead that'd be rad I hope the designer of the uh, Jurassic Park, the original Jurassic Park movie logo, realizes what impact they had on the language of design with the selection of that font. <laughs> like if you want to write out the word Jurassic, you're probably going to use whatever that font is. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And there goes one of the boats heading out. I think this is the first cruise of the day. I'm going to be hopping on the noon boat. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's pretty cute. I definitely like the, uh, the classic Mississippi River boat uh, look to it. Huh. Yeah, what if that rear paddle wheel ever actually turns or if that is strictly a stationary uh, showpiece? <laughs> Yeah, you can see the uh, uh, Lake Arrowhead Village is pretty charming. And again, tons of free parking. It fills up pretty fast. So if you're not here first part of the day, uh, you may have to hike a little bit from a distant spot. But and check this out. Some sort of a model train display going on today. Well, this is an unexpected surprise. The Inland Empire Mo Module Railroad Running Group and set up this amazing uh, model train display in a big uh, empty space here in the village. Cool. All right. <laughs> oh man, I love it. 
about model trains. I love models generally. I'm sure I've mentioned that before. And uh, model train sets are pretty great. Oh yeah. <laughs> City Hall. That looks like some kind of a track clearing engine. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Mike Bentley Memorial Train Exhibit. A lovely way to remember Mike Bentley. And I love this bridge right above it with this amazing cloud. <laughs> Fantastic. And I love that kind of uh, mountain-esque scene. This could be a train. Oh, neat. <laughs> We're getting a little thunderstorm moment. That's great. A flash of lightning. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. But yeah, I love the, uh, the, the logging train here carrying its uh, harvested cargo down the mountain. That's great. There we go, blasting the horn right on. <laughs> I love the uh, Santa Fe smokestack and factory, and yeah, it looks like there's the uh, roundhouse in the back there. And here's another nice little uh, kind of turnout with a little neighborhood tucked in there. <laughs> and there is one of the engines from uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Now, I should know the characters better. And the red engine? Dang. It's not Thomas, it's not Percy, it's not Nia, not Kana. I think Gordon, maybe? Ugh, that's embarrassing. I should know better. I love that. Smith Drugs, but then Max Model Shop, Hobby Supplies. Feels very meta. And this looks like uh, the dock where the uh, shipping containers would be unloaded. I always remember that opening sequence in Tom Cruise's War of the Worlds, the uh, Spielberg movie, which is actually really good. And he drives one of these things, that's his job. And you actually get to see him kind of operating, or at least in the cab of the machinery. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, looks like some uh, police activity investigating a crash. And then over here, apparently, there are four cats on this building. <laughs> oh, nice. The train just took off. Heading on its way. Nice. And I can see one of the cats. There it is, sitting in the window. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, love the big uh, tank with the aircraft lights on it, the warning lights, that's great. <laughs> There's definitely some cows somewhere in the scene. I don't know whether the inside of that house has a raging comfy fire or it is burning from within, but that's a pretty cool effect. Oh, and I love this classic old school city bus. There's something about that design, like if I were gonna ever retire and hit the road and money were no object, I'd buy one of these and uh, convert it into a mobile home. Yeah, they're awesome. And then you get your classic Union Station. Sort of the uh, name of so many uh, passenger rail hubs and cities around the, uh, the country. Yeah, lovely. Travel by train. It's a good way to go, that is for sure. Uh, this is really great. I love the billboards, but I think I just found my favorite little scene in this model and that is a drive-in theater <laughs> that is so brilliant and if i'm not mistaken they are showing unstoppable that uh, tony scott film with uh, denzel washington and i think chris pine really solid kind of a disaster thriller yeah, that's a good movie <laughs> love it this is great they've got a cool little mountain scene here and uh, you can get your name on the billboard at that mountain peak for a hundred dollar donation <laughs> that's fantastic there we go i like the teeny little cows on the hill and yeah we have some billboard sponsors shout out to jackie guthrie realtor yeah models scale models are the best well i've never seen a show here but they do have a little uh, performance stage here nice it's a pretty charming size for a concert. Excellent.
And of course, any place that has a Rocket Fizz franchise is automatically cool. And I'm very hopeful that uh, this particular location stocks Ozel Soda, the best soda ever made. That's pretty strong. Farrah Fawcett branded soda. I, I approve. Well, here's another one. I can't even imagine what it would taste like, but uh, classic King Kong. I'll drink that, sure. I don't know. I don't know if I can take this home, but multi-legged horror hamster. That is the best description of a tarantula I have ever seen. Hairy as scariest. That's fantastic. Well, I am happy to say that that Rocket Fizz establishment did indeed stock ourselves. They had a pineapple whip, orange dream sickle, and they thought they might have had a root beer in the back, but I went with the, uh, the good old uh, orange dream sickle. They're all amazing, but this is one of my faves. Okay, I'm telling you, this, this really can't be beaten. Mm. Mm. It's like drinking a carbonated, melted orange cream cycle. So good. Ugh. And remember, all sales of Ozell support the ongoing restoration and uh, upkeep of the Walt Disney Bird Place. So it goes to a good cause. Here's a map of the whole property. And uh, yeah, you get a sense of the, the breadth of services offered here. It really is kind of one-stop shopping. Well, there you go. History of Lake Arrowhead Village, the new village. I didn't realize that uh, this current version of uh, Lake Arrowhead Village was not in existence before April of 1979. Huh. The preview day for the new village was in May of 1981. I thought this uh, predated my existence, but it did not. Cool. It's uh, no surprise to learn that uh, this has been a popular spot for shooting Hollywood motion pictures, given its natural beauty. Yeah, look at this. Quite a bit in the early days of Hollywood. Oh my goodness, and the great race. How do you like that? Oh wow. Okay, I gotta revisit that. One of the all-time comedy classic Space Jam. Huh. And next. Well, well, well. Okay, very weird movie but I admire it for its audacity. <laughs> it does not have what you would call a typical Hollywood ending. So here on the other side of uh, kind of the main village promenades, there's a whole set of boat docks back here and, and it's very peaceful. <sighs> yeah, living up here year round, I can see how that would be a bit of a challenge, but to have some kind of a summer getaway place mm. be pretty sweet yeah I could be mistaken but I think this is the area by the waterfront where they would set up a little uh, carnival or have in the past but uh, I could be wrong on that but wow look at this view oh Yeah, the breeze has definitely gotten a little stiffer, but I'm not complaining. It's a pretty neat little shoreline here and just hang out, watch the fish, watch the ducks, and just chill. I love that the water is clear enough. You can sort of see the, uh, the denizens above the lake and below at the same time. There's our craft returning to the docks. And all right, we'll be boarding momentarily. Nice. Well, there you go. It's a 50 minute tour, not three hours. So didn't need to pack a, a steamer trunk full of clothes. All right. Wait, where are our tickets? What? Where are our tickets? Edna yeah. Board. Okay. Good afternoon now. How's everybody doing today? Hey. Hey. Good. I'm Captain Eric. Welcome aboard the Queen. How many of you guys first time on the Queen? Right here. Good. Me too. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Little uh, housekeeping first before we head out. 
Hold that uh, life vest up there, sir. You're my assistant. There you go. That stylus life vest, we have those underneath the seats all the way around the perimeter and down the middle. In the event of an emergency, please put one on yourself and then uh, any kids you want to keep around, we'll all get to shore. <laughs> As uh, we go around the lake today, I'll give you a little history of the lake and uh, also tell you about where some uh, people of note have lived. And if you have questions, just holler them out. If you want to get up, move around, open the windows, the door, help us Lake Arrowhead is a man-made lake. We were, uh, this was originally called Little Bear Canyon back in the 1800s. And in the late 1800s, they decided to make a reservoir. We are two and a half miles long by one and a half wide. And we're going to go around about 13 miles of shoreline looking off the starboard side. These are our first condos on the lake. We did buy a condo there when they first offered them for sale in 1977. <laughs> Boy, that that's never gonna happen again. <laughs> 1.3 million, and the dock's not included. It's 60 million grand a week. Oh my goodness! If you look back on the beach, you can see those trees that look a little different. Those are apple trees. They were planted back in the 1800s. And we had a logging camp, a lumber mill there, and a uh, town center. And then uh, when they started filling the lake up in 1901, the uh, first home started to appear along here. This is our first house of note right here, the uh, beige house with the uh, green door and the green crib. That was Doris Day's house. Oh, 
oldest water ski school in America started here. That is sweet. <laughs> too fast and that was really really pleasant. Yeah 50 minutes goes by in a heartbeat when you're having fun. Well, that was that was really fun <laughs> and again could not have picked a better day for it uh, lovely to see the lake and very surprised I shouldn't have been but very surprised to learn about how many uh, how many she she homes are up here on the uh, on the shore and uh, how many famous names have uh, planted their flags up here at least temporarily yeah very cool <laughs> Yeah, I gotta give another big thanks to our captain. He was uh, he was an awesome tour guide. Lots of good information and uh, some good humor too. You want to make uh, fast friends with some of the local ducks? Here's how you do it: two bags for only a buck. Not bad. All right, I think that is going to bring this one to a close. So as always, thank you so much for coming along, and I uh, hope you had a good time enjoying the beauty of Lake Arrowhead, at least as half as much as I did, because boy, I sure did a ton. It is. Uh, pretty great and again highly recommend the boat trip learned a lot about this area I was uh, very pleasantly surprised by the amount of knowledge I gained on that uh, on that lovely tour so um, yeah take care and we will catch you in the next one